Hi, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. This week's tip came as a response to an email I saw on one of the exploders from a customer of ours. He got a new mouse with some extra buttons on it and said, hey, how can I map some of these buttons to uh, functionality in Creo Parametric? Well, there isn't a lot you can map to directly, but there's a workaround that really lets you map any map key to any button. Let's take a look at how that works. This is the mouse I've got. It's an Evoluent Vertical Mouse 4. And we're not really endorsing one mouse or the other. Uh, it should work with any of them. But if you see, there's some buttons on the side. But what I'm going to deal with, too, is there are a couple thumb buttons as well. So let's see how that might work. How could I do that? Well, I'm going to create a map key that will turn all the datum entities on and another one that turns them all off. And we're going to map those to those buttons. So let's do that. So to start out with that, let's create the map keys. And rather than look around with it for it, I'm going to go to the command search, click on the map key there, and I'm going to do this as function keys. And why is function keys? Well, let's show you. Let's open up the tool for configuring that mouse. There are my buttons, and the buttons I'm interested in are 5 and 6. And if you look down at all the things you can map to them, you've got a lot of the keys. So really, any key that does something specific in Creo Parametric, you can map. But if you look right in the middle, function keys, F1 through F12, you can map any of those to those two buttons. Lo and behold, one thing you can create for map keys in Creo Parametric are the function keys. So let's do that. Let's go New. And you can see it defaults to a function key. Let's pick, say, 5 and 6. And we'll give it a name just for our, our own reference. OK, and let's record that. And I'm going to go to the options here. And the best way to turn datum entities on and off is to not try and work with the toggles, but actually read a config file that has those settings. So I'm going to import configurations from a file. And I'm going to go to where all my standards live. And I've got a utilities folder. And there's environmenton.pro. And what that is, and let's take a quick look at what that is. That's just a config file that says axes display on, datum display on, point, etc. So we're going to load that up. And you can see some of the changes right here. Let's say OK to that. I'm not going to save those changes there. I'm going to stop recording the map key and say OK. Now I'm going to create another one that turns all those things off. Go to a new map key again. And we'll go to F6. And we'll enter a description, datums off. It's always a good idea to have a description so you can look at it later and say, what the heck did I do? So we'll record, go to the options. This time we'll go to the configuration editor and we'll load that other one, the one that turns everything off, environment off it's called. And you can see some of the settings have changed with the green status flash. We'll say OK. We'll stop recording that. And now we have those two things created. Well, let's save all of those that have changed, just the F5 and F6, but let's put them in our regular startup config.pro so that when I have a try and grab those in the future, they'll be there. Now let's see how those work. Let's go F5. Boy, that turned everything on. Let's hit F6 on the keyboard. There we go. Turns everything off. That makes sense. So let's close that out. Now we have to get that set to the buttons in the mouse. So let's go to that little mouse tool we just had a second ago. And I can go to the buttons. Now, I don't necessarily have to set these things to, say, F6 and F5 like we did for, for all functions. I can do it for different applications of this particular mouse. I've got one set up for Creo, and I'm going to say, Button 5 works function key 5. Button 6 works function key 6. And that only will apply when I'm in Creo Parametric. Let's apply that. Say OK. Now when I'm here in the tool, 
there I hit the function button on the map key or on the on the mouse and it works just fine. So if you have a, a common thing you do a lot in Creo Parametric and you'd like to map one of these smart buttons on your mouse to that particular task, create a map key to one of the function keys, map that function key to your mouse button. Now if you have any questions on this tip or any of the other tips, feel free to contact us at EAC or better yet, leave a comment under this video. Have a great rest of your week.